here is the plan. We are wiping out fractions in one move using a common denominator. Then we will enjoy solving the equation without them. Let's go. So let's get rid of all these denominators. To do that, let's find a common denominator. Look, if we didn't have x in the denominator, a common denominator would be 6, right? But we also want to get rid of x. So let's bring it along. Let's say our common denominator is 6 times x. So we can get rid of x and 6x at the same time. So let's say our common denominator is 6x. Let's bring x along. Then this is what we are going to do. We are going to multiply both sides of the equation by 6x over 1. Both sides of the equation by 6x over 1. And we will get rid of x and 6x and 6 in the denominator. Let's go. We are going to use the distributive property and multiply each term of the equation by 6x. So 6x over 1 times 4 over x. Next, we have minus, right? Be careful, do not lose this minus. We have 6x over 1 times 1, right? On the right side, we take 6x over 1 and multiply by each term. So 6x over 1 times 7 over 6x minus 6x over 1 times 1 over 6. Now let's get rid of all these denominators. We are not going to multiply across like 6x times 4. We are not going to do it. We are going to get rid of those denominators. Look, x divided by x is 1. So x will cancel out. So x divided by x is 1. Then what do we have? We have 6 times 4. So 6 times 4 is 24. Very good. Next, we have minus. 6x times 1 is just 6x. Very good. On the right, look. 6x divided by 6x is 1. So 6x will cancel out. What do we have left? 1 times 7 is 7. Very good. Minus. Look. 6 and 6 will cancel out. So 6 divided by 6 is 1. What do we have left? x times 1 is x. Very good. Look, we got rid of all these denominators by using a common denominator 6x. Very good. Now, look, we have x on the left and x on the right. Let's have x on the left side, for example. So what do we do? If you are in the United States, you would subtract 24 from both sides. If you are from like South America or Russia, we take 24 and bring it to the other side with the opposite sign. So do however is comfortable for you. So 24 minus 24 will give us 0. We will be left with negative 6x. And on the right side, we have 7 minus 24 is negative 17. Be careful with your negatives here. And then bring down negative x. Very good. Very good. What do we do next? We need to bring this negative x to the left side. Right? You can just take negative x and bring it to the left side as plus x. Or you add x to both sides. Do it however is easy for you. So negative x plus x will will go away, right? So on the left, we have negative 6x plus x will be negative 5x. Very good. And on the right, we will be left with negative 17. Look here. What's the opposite operation of multiplication? Division. So we divide both sides by negative 5, right? We're almost there. Look, negative 5x divided by negative 5 will be 1x or just x. And then negative 17 divided by negative 5. Negative divided by negative will be positive. So the answer will be 17 over 5. This answer is as an improper fraction. If we want to change it into a decimal, we divide 17 by 5. Why? Because this bar means division. And we will get 3.4 as a decimal. If we want to change it into a mixed number, we set up a long division. Look. 17 divided by 5. 5 goes into 17 3 times. 
3 times 5 is 15. So 17 minus 15 is 2. So 17 over 5 is equal to. So 5 goes into 17 3 times. So 3 will be the whole number. The remainder 2 will be the new numerator, 2. And keep the same denominator, 5. 3 and 2 fifths. This is the answer as a mixed number. Very good. I hope this is helpful. Remember that God loves you. Keep up the good work and I will see you next time.